all of my friends from the diverse community, from different Christian denominations and other faith communities, that we built our relations and we worked together. My friends, certainly after 9-11, there has been hard times on Muslim community in Rochester. But that is not actually, if you look into it, since I came in 76, pretty much misunderstanding continued to exist in America about who are Muslims. And I think I may give you an example in Philadelphia in 1976, walking with my little uh, daughter. She is now a physician, in fact, here, <laughs> many of you. And uh, we were in the outskirts of the Philadelphia and countryside. We didn't see any place where she would say that I want to go to um, a bathroom. So finally we saw some people outside. And uh, we went there and I shook hands with them. I said, my name is Muhammad Shafi. He said, Muhammad, they took, they took a step backward. Meaning you can see that much fear in the hearts of the people especially in the countryside, uh, how they think about Islam. So after 9-11, indeed, it has been hard times. But I have good news to share with you also. That these hard times on Muslims have brought them not to live in the past, but to think about the future, present and future. And thinking about present and future, many Muslim countries and many of the Islam Muslim scholars in different countries. In fact, from this May, I want to give you uh, some very good news that about 300, and I have the website and everything if you want to see that, 300 Muslim scholars got together in Jakarta, Indonesia. And the declaration which is on the website is alarming. It's a very good seeing, very much like many of you are looking to what, whether there will be a reform movement in Islam. It is there now. It is happening not only in Jakarta, but in different countries. Yes, when we were the most powerful, we became arrogant. And during that period of arrogance, I'm referring to the medieval period of the Muslim, don't want to go further on that. <laughs> we, we, when we became arrogant, how we built some Sharia laws discriminating against women. It is there, you can see that. How we built some Sharia laws discriminating against others, meaning others not only Christians, or Jewish, or Indians, all others, how we built. That happens, my friends, when you become a superpower, when you, when you say, are you with me or not? <laughs> What those words which we heard just recently? You become arrogant. It's 